Women are spoken to using names and words that are not their names. These words represent a variety of intentions, but almost always does this help perpetuate the inequality women experience in the workplace, the grocery store, the bar, the street corner, or even the home. These places are unlimited. Sometimes these titles are given out of malicious anger and others out of Southern charm and sometimes unconsciously through generational differences. And I have found through my interviews that it is not always men calling women these names. Women are also known to throw these words around to get them ahead or to strike a chord. Think about this next time you call your best friend a bitch or when your boss calls you sweetheart, or when your boyfriend calls you a tease. Naming these words is important, so we know what they are, how they are used, and so we can hear ourselves saying them in our everyday lives and begin to picture who we are saying them to. Washing these words off, especially in community, is also important. Not because the woman cannot work these damaging assaults to her identity out on her own, but because we are all implicated in using these words and working to better our own society. By working together to eradicate these everyday words, we build not just a consciousness within ourselves of what is right and wrong, but one for our community as well. Listen to two stories of women who have experienced these words and how they figuratively washed them off. So I've been called things like sweetheart or darling, and I'm almost 20 years old, and so it bothers me more when the people are closer to my age because I know it's, it's probably not the way that they were raised, but they're trying to be derogatory. Working on a college campus, you know, working in groups. I mean, I see it all the time. Men will be like, no, sweetheart, or that's not the way it works, honey. And that just makes me want to flip the table over because there's a lot worse names that I could call them, but I refrain from doing that. <laughs> I had this, this waitress that told me that we went to the same school. So we're both the same age. And she repeatedly called every single one of us sweetheart while she was taking our order. And it just felt like it was unnecessary. It, was, it was just made me feel silly. And it made me feel a little bit embarrassed for her. Well, it almost feels like a social norm. You know, when somebody's taken your order at a restaurant, you want them to be kind of caring and taking care of you as if they're, they're older than you or they're sweet and kind. And of course, they're going to call you sweetheart. But that's not the way it comes off. It's not endearing. It's not loving. It's, you know, it's rude almost. And it wasn't cute. When you're talking about from males to females, like darling, sweetheart, honey, can be derogatory. But then there's these negative words like bitch, cunt, these words like that. And they are used by everyone. They're used by females as well. And so I think a lot of it has to do with female empowerment and teaching women to love each other. There's a guy at the place where I take my car to have it serviced, and he calls me darling and sugar pie. And at first it was very off-putting, but he does the best job on the car, and he is uh, the least expensive. And he also doesn't try to take advantage of me. And I've had people do that because I was female. At first it made me feel like he was treating me like a kid or that he was in some way superior. Um, he was kind of condescending when he would say that, like we were on different levels. And then I just thought he was stupid. It's powerful to use somebody's name. So my name used um, to address me in a positive way, um, I pay attention to a lot. I think the angriest I've ever been when a man said something to me was when I was expressing um, hurt over a situation and this person said to me, put your big girl panties on. And to me, that was demeaning and insulting and sexist and sexualized. And that's the kind of thing that I will address directly. I mean, in the moment I said, this is how I hear that. And this is why it's disgusting. And um, 
you know, please don't ever say that again. Only I don't think I said please. I didn't mean please either. I just said don't ever say that to me again. Remember that woman who was shamed with words of sin and then baptized with her peers? That was me, the producer of this documentary. And I, too, have been called sweetheart in a professional setting in order to be made less than by someone who is intimidated by me. To them and to the world, I want to say, my name is Mallory. Use it.